Hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I am getting off of work and it's like 6.27 in the morning. But I just want to share something with you guys who are in nursing school, okay? Please, don't be that nursing student because it's very annoying. So I just want to uh, kind of give you some examples of some things not to do if you are in nursing school and you're going to be a nursing intern. And being a nursing intern is like being a CNA or a tech or an aide. It's the same thing. Okay, if you are in nursing school and a, and a, a tech is training you, Don't be anal about certain things. And don't act like this is our first day on the job when it's actually yours. Your first day, your second day, your first week. Especially if the one who's training you have been doing it for years. It's annoying and you put yourself in a bad situation because no one is going to want to train you or work with you because you are stuck up in the air somewhere. For instance, we were cleaning a patient. The patient had a Foley. I see the Foley. I know the Foley is there, you know. And as we're turning and, oh, watch the Foley. Oh, oh, are you going to get that? Are you gonna? And it's like, and I'm looking at the, the person. I'm like, you know, some things don't even warrant a response. I just ignored it because I know that I am not going to be a nice person if I say something, you know. And I'm trying to, you know, show some patience and long suffering and all of that. And I'm trying to keep my composure. Because especially when you're in a rush, rush environment and, you know, everything is going ballistic, your phone is ringing off the hook, you know, peak call lights are going off, you know, you got to start prioritizing. And especially when you're training someone, it kind of messes up your flow because what you would normally do on your shift, you don't do and some things you forget to do because you're out of your flow. And there was another instance when the guy we were changing, the same guy, had an alarm on. And I put the alarm on. I adjust the alarm. I know what I'm doing, right? So the person is like, oh, are you going to um, take the, you want to take the alarm off? No, I don't want to take the alarm off. For what? It's not going to go off. And I know that if I take the alarm off, sometimes I forget to put it back on. So when I put the alarm on the patient, I know where to put it and all of that. So that if I am turning him, it's not gonna get in the way, it's totally fine. And even if the alarm goes off, so what? I'm right there, snap it back on, what's the big deal? You know, so it's just little things. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Don't be anal about certain things. Don't try to, don't act like the person that's training you is new when you're the person who is new. Okay, so if you want to maintain a cool work environment where people want to work with you and everyone is happy to be around you, don't act like that because it's not good for you in the long run. And then when you do become a nurse, the people are gonna be like, oh God, not this one. And no one's gonna to wanna to work with you and help you and all of that. And you don't wanna create that kind of environment for yourself, just a heads up. And when I train this person again and he start doing that, I'm gonna to have to tell him because he's a nice person, you know? And I don't want, I want him to have a pleasant, work and experience with us on the night shift because on a night shift we're a family 
we hug and all of that all of that you know you would think we were like all of us like relatives and if you're coming into our family environment now this is only night shift day shift is totally different no one speaks to each other everyone's mean you know no one helps each other it's just horrible the culture in the day is totally different from the night even though our floor is hard it's a hard floor to work on because of the majority of the employees it's bearable and at times enjoyable and fun so your employees actually make your work experience an experience that is pleasant and you're not dreading going to work you know you hear certain people especially CNAs how they hate their job and no one helps them and this and that and that it's not every facility and there are many it, it depends on the employees if the work if your employees are like that then your work environment and, and many employees um, are like that but thank God the place where I work at everyone is not like that and the people who are like that trust me put them in their place really quick and a lot of people get written up because we're trying to keep it so that if that type certain type of attitudes come in and certain people are not doing what they're supposed to do if they're not helping because in all actuality the the a the tech the pca whatever you're called we're there to help the nurses the nurses are actually responsible for all of that we're there to help them you know and even when we first got hired they told us he said they said listen you are there to help the nurses you are not there to do their job they can do everything that you do you are there to take the load off and don't let them take advantage of you that is what they tell us as they're hiring us and during our meetings and some of the nurses don't understand that so they act like they can't take a vital they act like they can't do an accu check they act like they can't change a person now if someone needs to be changed and we call them in and what i started doing was when i have to change a person i'll call the nurse in for that patient because you're coming in here too you know why should i get another aide to help me when they have their own work to do this is our patient let's go and some of them don't like it but so what it's your patient that gives you an opportunity to assess them So back to what I was saying, if you're a nursing student, don't be anal, don't try to act like you know everything, okay, you know everything book-wise, but you don't know how to do it hands-on, that's why we're training you, and especially when we're doing certain things in the room, and the person that's being trained is just standing there like they don't know what to do that right there tells me you need to start doing some more hands-on work and you worrying about all this other stuff it's beyond your scope right now and even if you were a nurse still don't act like the tech is new you're new <laughs> it just kills me you know and I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. Don't be that kind of person when you are when you start work and you start training. You know, and you're an intern or a nursing student and you're doing CNA work. Don't be that kind of person because trust you will have no uh, friends. Not that they're your friends, but like. You know people that can be able to stand to be in your presence because you're annoying point blank in the period okay so that is just some advice and don't mean to sound harsh or anything like that but you know I vlog about my little experiences and I try to tell people and warn people yes I'm driving if I don't like it I'm sorry but I'm not really looking at the camera I'm looking at the road I try to tell people about my experiences, 
try to help people because I know a lot of people watch this channel that are in nursing school or that are taking CNA classes, want to be a CNA, people who are CNA thinking about going to nursing school and people who, you know, are starting their job for the first time and they want to know what's what. I'm giving you what's what. And also, I'm, I, some comments that you're reading about CNA is the worst job. People don't help. Okay, okay, all right already. You know, we know that. But if this job, like any other job, is not something you want to do and you don't like it and all of that, just don't do it. You know? And for all of those who was, gonna, who was watching this video and want to leave comments like that, just turn the channel. That's your experience. Because just because you had that bad experience doesn't mean other people are going to have that experience. If you were in a facility that no one helped you, that you were bullied, and the nurses were mean, and the CNAs were mean, and, and blah, 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 and all of that, that's your experience. Just like with any other job, a fast food job, if you are in business or whatever, everyone has their own experiences. So if you are in an environment and you are working somewhere where people are not very nice, first of all, when you went to the interview, I'm sure you felt the tension and you felt the unfriendliness in that environment only thing all you have to do is walk the floor walk the floor spend five minutes on the floor and look how the employees interact with each other and that will give you a clue to what your work day will be like with those type with those uh with those people that you're going to be working with those co-workers no one's smiling no one is laughing or you know there is no kindness going about everyone just looks mean and mad that no right there that's a red flag that's not the place for you that was the first thing that I noticed when I started working at a long-term care facility I went on the interview the interviewer was nice but when I came back the second time and we were walking the halls and I'm looking at the interaction between all of the co-workers and uh, the director of nursing and all of that and how everyone interacted. It wasn't very pleasant. It was like, you know, in my mind, wow, wow everybody got an attitude and I hope the night shift is totally is different than this. And, you know, it, it was a feeling of... groups or cliques like you know I'm against you or something like that it was that feeling and it wasn't a good feeling and I knew that but I didn't care because I needed a job and I needed experience because I knew I wanted to get into a hospital so I sucked it up so I worked there for a year and then I went to the hospital and when I went to the hospital it was a totally different environment because the employees makes the difference. Now we have patients, the patients are hard, you have some mean patients, but it's not even the patients. The patients can be that way because we know that we don't have to be with these people every day. In the hospital, they're there they're for one day or two days or three days. You know, some people sometimes more, but it's really the co-workers that we're dealing with. We can deal with the patient, that's fine. We already know what to deal with that. But the co-workers, nine times out of 10 people who quit their job is because of the environment of the job and their co-workers, their bosses, their co-workers. It's because of that, it's an unpleasant place to be in. So if you are thinking about being a CNA or you have some issues and you're angry about your CNA experience, the next time you go for a job, if you're going to go for a job to, be, uh, to work as one, pay attention to the red flags in the environment before you, you know, start writing and blogging and making comments about how, you know, this is BS and, 
and and all of this and you know just ain't angry find another job find something else to do And as a matter of fact, if CNA work and all of that is such a bad thing, why, in the first place, are you watching this video? If you have no intentions of becoming one, you hate being one, why are you watching this video in the first place? Just something to think about. So, when you see comments about stuff like that, just pay it no mind. Just think about what I just said. Because if I was, if I hated something and I couldn't stand something, I'm going to be so totally disconnected with it. I don't even want to look at it, talk about it, nothing. I'm not going to watch videos about it because I no longer want to be a part of it. Okay, guys. If you're going to be an intern or going to nursing school and you're doing CNA work for a little bit until you get your license don't be that intern, don't be that nursing student because it's highly annoying okay and remember you're the new person, not the one training you they're training you because they have experience they're training you because they are trusted that they're going to teach you the right things to do and how to do it the right way some don't but know that they have more experience than you and they know what they're doing all right just a little heads up all right so you guys have a wonderful day and questions you know where to put them okay bye